In the following tutorial I will cover UE3 versus UDK versus UG3. I'll cover the main differences and a very common misconception about UE3. I'll cover the main features of UDK versus Unreal Tournament 3 and which one should you go for and why. This is going to be a basic overview of the main differences between Unreal Development Kit and Unreal Tournament 3. And after going through this video, you should have a better understanding of which one to choose. So the first thing I want to cover is UE3. The main misconception is that UE3 is Unreal Editor 3, which is not the case. UE3 stands for Unreal Engine 3. UDK is Unreal Development Kit. And Unreal Tournament 3 is a game that came out in 2007. Both are powered by Unreal Engine 3. So Unreal Engine 3 powers UDK and UT3. Unreal Editor is the level editor that you would be using to create environments inside UDK or inside Unreal Tournament 3. The Unreal Editor interface between UDK and UT3 are essentially very similar. There are differences of course, but if you work with UT3 or UDK you'll be able to switch between UDK and UT3 and you'll have no problem adjusting. Here's the interface for Unreal Editor in Unreal Tournament 3. And here is the UDK interface. So you can see that the main interface between the two editors is very similar. But if you work with one you'll be able to jump over to the other with no problem. Also the tutorials that are designed for Unreal Tournament 3 most of them can be applied to UDK. So now let's get down to each version. First we'll cover the UDK and UDK is Unreal Development Kit and it's a free standalone version of Unreal Engine. You can download UDK at UDK.com. One of the strong features of UDK is it's the newer version of Unreal Engine 3. So almost on monthly basis Epic releases the new version of UDK with new engine updates, many improvements, and the engine is always up to date. Another strong feature is you can purchase a license and sell your custom game that you created with UDK. UDK is also ideal to create standalone games. Another feature of UDK is you can package your created maps or games as a standalone executable. And you're free to create virtually anything you want with UDK. The only thing is you are limited by how. Now a few downsides to UDK is when you download UDK you are limited to the amount of models and textures that come with UDK. You are also limited to the amount of characters, vehicles and weapons. But also know that Unreal Development Kit was designed in mind for game designers and environment artists to take the base of UDK and create brand new custom content. So if you want to successfully make something with UDK You'll have to have programming knowledge as well as you'll have to create your own custom models and textures using a 3D application. Also UDK does not include Unreal Engine 3 C++ source code access. In order to get source code access you'll have to actually license Unreal Engine 3. Now let's cover Unreal Tournament 3. If you purchase the game Unreal Tournament 3 the editor comes with it. All the models, all the textures, all the particles, all the vehicles and weapons that you see inside the game are available to you to use inside Unreal Editor for UT3. Also, UT3 has a very large community with thousands of custom maps created, custom weapons, custom characters, and many more custom mods. So with UT3, you'll have all the source code files for all the weapons, vehicles, characters that come with Unreal Tournament 3. UT3 is a full game and UT3 is ideal for level design because of a large choice of models and textures that is available with the game. So if you're not good with creating custom models and textures using a, model, a 3D modeling package, Unreal Tournament 3 would be a good choice for a level designer. Unreal Tournament 3 is a few years old so all the updates for Unreal Engine 3 that are being released through UDK, UT3 does run on the older build of Unreal Engine 3. And unlike UDK, it hasn't received all the new updates of the Unreal Engine 3. 
So with this basic overview, hopefully this gives you a better understanding and a better idea of what to go with. Now, my own opinion is I prefer UDK. I love the new features, I love the new lighting and constant updates on the engine. So hopefully this tutorial will give you a better understanding of the differences between UT3 and UDK and now you can make a better decision of which one to use.